So it turns out Kelly Ben Simone from Real Housewives of New York on Scary Island, I guess, exaggerated her friendship with Gwyneth Paltrow. So if you remember on Scary Island, she was like, oh, Gwyneth Paltrow, my friend, you know, uh, to Bethany Frankel when she was supposedly standing up to Bethany about attacking Gwyneth Paltrow in the paper. That was like one of the fights at Scary Island. Anyway, it turns out that Gwyneth Paltrow went on Watch What Happens Live and finally confirms that actually she doesn't know Kelly Benson at all. She doesn't, she didn't acknowledge her at all. Like not a friend, not an acquaintance, nothing. So I don't know if Kelly really exaggerated, uh, you know, her relationship with Gwyneth Paltrow. Like maybe she met her as a model and like once and made her into a friend. I don't know, but that's what came out that Gwyneth Paltrow didn't know what the hell was even happening with Gwyneth that. Paltrow also did not know what, you know, Andy Cohen was talking about when he said that Bethany Frankel had said, you know, that she had attacked Gwyneth Paltrow in the paper. Gwyneth Paltrow wasn't aware of it. She didn't seem to have any clue that that even happened. Now, given this is a long time ago, but either Gwyneth Paltrow just didn't care about Bethany Frankel at all, or just didn't read the paper. It actually was in the New York Post. It did happen. Uh, Bethany Frankel at that time attacked Gwyneth Paltrow by saying to the New York Daily News, I'd rather staple my eyes shut than wa watch Gwyneth Paltrow cook. And that was the attack that was in the paper. So it did happen that she went for, Bethany Frankel went for Gwyneth, but Gwyneth wasn't aware of it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> See, I mean, either Gwyneth Paltrow is just completely disconnected from her friends in the world, or all of this was, you know, really blown out of proportion. Kelly Ben Simone said the reason that Bethany Frankel hated her was that Bethany had been invited to one of her parties at her house in New York. And when Bethany came, she didn't pay much attention to her. And she, Bethany, never forgave Kelly for slighting her at this party that she held. I mean, but to me, that seems like a really unusual story for a few reasons. Number one, like, doesn't that make Kelly look like a bad host? Number two, I doubt Bethany, you know, Bethany might not like her after that, you know, since this happened before Kelly went on the show. But I can't imagine that Bethany would, you know, judge her entirely on an evening where she's busy hosting a party. So to me, uh, I think Kelly's given a lot more importance to this event than, you know, probably should have taken place. I think Bethany actually just thinks Kelly's nuts and doesn't respect her. So now, Kelly uh, sells supposedly 50 million in real estate now in New York. So she's doing all right. I wonder if Bethany Frankel's opinion of her has changed since Bethany is so pro entrepreneurship now, you know, does she think that that's an amazing accomplishment that Kelly sold that much real estate. She's obviously making a few million a year now on that. So I wonder if that's made finally an impression. I love that Bethany Frankel said, I'm not doing the book that Dave, uh, David wrote. Um, what was it? Not all, um, diamonds and rosé because I think it's hilarious that she'd be like, hell no, I'm not doing a book for free. Like, I am only doing books that I get paid for, guys. I'm Bethany Frankel. Like, I'm no longer a chef in a studio apartment. <laughs> I'm so much more than that now. I'm never doing it. You're never getting So paid. Dave Quinn also wrote in his book that Sonia Morgan said that she thought something was wrong with Kelly the whole time she was in Scary Island because she literally was telling people that she threw up the night before she came on the trip, on the group trip, because she thought Bethany Frankel was going to kill her and seemed to really believe that Bethany was going to hurt her on this group trip. Like, what? Okay, I'll read you the quote really quick. It says, When we sat down at the table, she was screaming nonsensical things like, Al Sharpton, I was trying hard to chat with her, but nothing was making sense. She kept talking about the press and her friend, the, that Paltrow girl, Sonia shared. She was going off on the side like a crazy person. She kept repeating the producer's name over and over again. At one point, they had to put the cameras down and tell her to go to her room and stop. It was crazy. We'd never had a situation like that again on the show where somebody was actually not in a healthy situation. 
what the hell was she on? Was she on yeah, Solidity they- Blurb actually did a comparison to what Kelly said in the book b- based on what Sonia Morgan mm-hmm. alleged in the book. So they like took it from two different sections and like merged it. So here's, here's what they, they wrote. Uh, this is what Kelly said. Let me give you the behind the scenes of that trip. I was filming six days a week from the very beginning to the very end. I filmed all the time and I thought I was doing great. It was one of my best years, but my agent was like, they are really mad at you and they don't know if you're going to be brought back. And she was like, I don't know why all this pressure was on me. And then they said, basically, if she didn't go on the trip, that they were going to fire her, I guess. Um, And that's why she said she was forced to go on the group trip at the reunion. And she also said she was yelling the producer's name because she was legitimately trying to get off camera. And Sonia Morgan was also afraid for her life. She said that Kelly was chemically imbalanced and she thought she was acting paranoid. But Sonia did say in the book that she went and slept with Ramona because she was afraid for her life. Maybe because all, I don't know, like why was Kelly afraid of Bethany and why was Sonia afraid of Kelly? I don't know, you know, these are things happening off camera during the group trip. So it's like very, like people are legitimately like afraid, you know, that people were off. So uh, that's really strange. I know from my own experience on the show that the producers do play lots of psychological games off the show and using different methodologies while shooting as I've been subject to them. But um, I just, it seems like it was maybe taken too far on this season. And that's what some of this, um, you know, Dave Quinn's books reflecting in this testimony by them. So do you think that that's um, okay to do? Do you like when the producers create psychological drama that then manifests itself into storyline on the show? Or would you like them rather just let things happen more naturally and just see what happens? Like, so do you like it manipulated or not really? I would love to know. So please comment below. If you like my channel, please subscribe and all the other stuff they always, uh, people say to do on these type show channel things. Okay.